All right, in round three, uh, for me, when I, when I examine, examine this third round, I see that um, Washington is going to have the same success when he lines up his lead foot to Wilder's in a direct line, right? Um, you can see Wilder doesn't look too worried. You know, you'll see him try to establish a rhythm uh, in this fight, in this round. Um, this is a nice angle. All right, check out the lead foot, how it's angled towards Wilder's. And you can see him have success here again, right? Now he's getting a little aggressive. We'll go back to it again. And then he lands the jab, boom, double jab. And then he's going to try to loop in that right hook. All right? I, I think to me, um, it's a little too early for him to be that aggressive, but I can't blame him because he's seeing the success he's having with the jab um, when he doubles the jab up. Um, so he wants to, I guess he wants to explore going in on the inside, being a, a bit more aggressive, right? Uh, but again, I, I don't think for a guy like uh, Washington, it's the right idea. I think you need to uh, frustrate Wilder a bit more or see if you can get him frustrated, right? You don't want to give Wilder, or you don't want to get Wilder to, you know, get into a certain rhythm and start hitting you um, where he can line up some big shots because I believe Wilder is a, a a a power puncher that that relies on a certain uh, on a certain rhythm and and Washington fighting in this pace slowing down the pace um, doesn't allow Wilders to get off on that rhythm right so you're gonna see Wilder start trying to break you know Washington's success of controlling the action in the ring, right? In terms of foot positioning. So you see him backing up Washington so he can start trying to land some of his big shots with the jab and the overhand right. And, you know, he I thought he was successful there. Um, Washington is holding. I think it's just to regroup a little bit, right? And back to that foot positioning, right? You're going to see it. And he's able to land first or throw first and sneak in that jab. All right, let's look at that again. Right, he holds to regroup a little bit. All right, you see him holding. And he's going to establish the the foot positioning and then he's going to, you know, he's going to shoot off that uh, the hook and then sneak in that nice jab. All right? That's where he's more successful um keeping Wilder at this pace, keep Wilder backing up. All right? Keep him still looking for a rhythm. While he's doing that, you're winning the exchanges, you're winning the battle of uh, ring general as well. But, uh, you know, again, there's, you got to do a lot more. You, 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 you kind of have to, when you're fighting Wilder, you got to keep up, keep up that pace because one thing Wilder is, is an elite athlete with elite condition. And uh, you best believe he ain't going to be tired from those little punches. You got to do more than that. All right? So you see... Washington trying to establish ring general, right? Uh, he's a pretty good elusive fighter, I, I think. And that's the part of the reason why he's also having some success. I forgot to mention that in the first film study. Uh, you, see, you see how he shoots off like that feint, then he, then he commits to the jab. And, you know, he dips down a little bit. So in case, you know, Wild, Wilder caught him there anyway, just in case Wilder shoots off a shot so he can kind of evade those shots. Right, but it's all about foot positioning. You see him letting off. Right, he feels more confident letting off those shots when he's in control of the ring, and that's done by footwork. You see him backing Wilder up, backing Wilder up to the ropes. Uh, not a great inside fighter or a good inside tactic to to Wilder, but you can see that uh, you know it's more or less the same success. Uh, here you're going to see a slow motion angle of those punches be, uh, land, being landed, right? You can see it comes from that foot positioning. Right? Here's another angle. You know, Wilder lands his, but he, he lands his jab better. Um, and I thought he did a good job for round two and three. Uh, in rounds two and three, he did a good job of landing these kind of jabs because of the foot positioning. And, you know, he takes one... He takes one on the chin, but not, not as effective as, um, as Gerald Washington because of the foot position and because of the, of the pace of the fight. Um, I think Washington was able to control rounds 
uh, two and three on, on my scorecard. And I think he did it through excellent footwork, um, as good as it could possibly be against a guy like Deontay Wilder. Anyway, that is my video. Peace.